Professor K. Sachidanandan, major Indian poet and critic, to speak about Abayit. He has excelled in both Malayalam and English and has countless number of awards and honors to his credit.
Man, do you fear loneliness? Don't. Because it's not your fate. But what do you chose to be? You chose success. You chose individuality. You chose pleasure or happiness. You chose to achieve all in just one life, forgetting those who came. What are you willing to? Lonely, bored and burnt out. Think there is still some time left. Don't let it be your fate. Stop for a while and contemplate. Another point, I believe, I mean, an image I very much love. She rises from the grave. In the white, blood splattered wedding garb, holding the candle, she rises, rises from the grave in the moonless, dark nights. She walks through the alleys and streets of the old, dead town, smelling the rotting flesh. Dogs howl aloud, breaking the eerie silence. Bats fly over the head smelling death, making a hollow ring, advancing, advancing, announcing her arrival. She suddenly takes a turn, stops by the castle, where she once ruled as a queen. She walks through the ruins, searching for the glory of her bygone past. Stink and odor fills the ambience, wild flowers bloom in crevices dry, the earthly creatures scurry to hide from their old queen, who once ruled far and wide. She searches for her lost beauty, power and glory in the candlelight amidst the heaps of human scars, whom she ruled once unfair and unwise. Her lust unquenched, her soul tormented, her body tired and rotting, her heart begging for redemption. She returns to the grave when dawn approaches in the white blood splattered wedding. Well, that's that's the power.